Time for Q&A, questions and answers number two. So if you're not interested in Q&As, remember that you can always skip this video, no hard feelings. I'll see you in the next one. Just a single question in this one. The question received was, did you ever hit a wall in your learning curve? To be frank, I'm not 100% sure what this question actually means, but I guess the question is, did you ever try to learn something and then figured, figured out that it was massively much more difficult than you thought it would be? and it was actually very difficult for you to internalize it. Of course, there are tons and tons of things that I don't know yet that I would really wish to know. I really need to dig further down into functional programming, for example. So bear in mind that this is just my personal humble opinion on like the way I think about learning things, while obviously having lots left to learn. Of course, sometimes it's super tricky to, to wrap your head around some of the difficult concepts, and oftentimes, we find ourselves in situations where we try to learn a particular thing and as we try to do that we realize that there are so many other things that are sort of foundational to knowing that thing that it's very difficult to learn the thing we wanted because we lack the foundation that we, uh, we lack the foundation necessary to to sort of understand these these new concepts and sometimes that might be frightening sometimes that might be completely overwhelming uh, for me especially when it comes to math and like heavy notation stuff uh, or sorry especially when it, when it comes to math or notation heavy stuff so i try to learn something and as you read the resources and try to to learn the concepts you end up reading lots of uh, complex notation and of course that's kind of disheartening but here's the way i think about it you know that thing where you read an article on Wikipedia and then you press a link that takes you to a different page and then you read that and then you press a different link it takes you to a different page and then you press a, another link that takes you to a different page and so on and so forth. That thing, the sort of drill down, this I think really is, is sort of the best way to learn. Like, like you, in my mind at least, I mean everybody's different and we do it different ways, but this is kind of the way I do it. Like I try to figure out what the foundation is, like what the things that I'm missing are, and then I try to learn those. So instead of brutally trying to learn the thing that I, I need to know right now, I try to dig downwards and say, okay, but to understand this particular concept, I need to understand this other uh, more foundational concept. And instead of ignoring that fact, I venture down that path and really try to understand what that concept is. And of course, you have to strike a balance here because sometimes that might be extremely expensive. Sometimes you might not necessarily have the time to, to actually dig down the foundations. And of course, also at, at some point you have to stop because otherwise, if you keep on digging, I mean, uh, eventually you'll end up in the physics, right? Eventually you'll end up in the physics of how a computer works because you're sort of drilling down into the knowledge. But I think most of the time you can probably rationally see where that sort of sweet spot limit w would be where you've, where you've dug down enough. But so, about hitting a wall when you're learning, that's the way I would think about it. I would think about it as that drilling down and looking for the foundations of what you want to learn when you're trying to learn it is super valuable and is really the way we should go about it. We should look for the concepts, we should look for the concepts that underpin the concepts that we want to learn and instead of avoiding them because we're, they're difficult and instead of avoiding them because they're difficult we should venture to try to understand them and if when uh, venturing to understand those concepts we find other concepts that are more uh, fundamental or that underpin uh, those other concepts then we do the same thing again we dig down and we dig down and in my mind this is this is really this is really the like with a capital T way to learn because either you know something in a very shallow manner or you know something in depth and of course again you have to strike a balance somewhere in between because uh, it's not necessarily cost-effective to go all the way down to the physics. But again, I think most of the time, most of us are probably not going far enough. At least, maybe I, I should say it this way. If you are one of the people who would benefit from digging down a bit more, a bit more often, you probably know it. Like, you probably have a feeling that tells you, right, I can actually relate to that. Sometimes it would be useful for me to dig down uh, a bit more. Or, to not just try to rush the learning process. I guess that's the point as well, right? To, to let learning take the time that it needs to take and, and don't, don't be discouraged by the fact that you don't know new things immediately. Like you have to spend some time in order to actually learn the new things. Maybe this was all trivially obvious. If that was the case, please let me know in the comments so I can steer the videos in a better direction in the future. 
thank you very much for watching this Q&A. Remember to subscribe for more programming talks. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.